Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Pick Frost Time. My name is Katie. Today, I am going to be swatching all of my favorite pink everything. My favorite pink lip products, my favorite pink highlighters, my favorite pink blushes, my favorite pink shadows, all my shifty shadows, everything. If it's shiny and beautiful, if it's shifty, if it's fuchsia, if it's peachy, if it's coral, if it's vermilion, if it's fluorescent pink, it's going to be in this video. So it was really difficult for me to actually like pare down what my favorite pink things were because all pink things are my favorite things. It's still quite a long video, but like I feel like you guys all own a lot of these products or you guys could stand to accessorize your products with these certain lip products or these certain highlighters. I don't, I'm not like trying to get anybody to spend any money on things to like accessorize, but honestly like there's nothing like the perfect lip product to match the perfect blush, to match the perfect highlighter, to match your perfect pink look. And so the other thing is that I feel like a lot of the products, a lot of the shadows and stuff that I mentioned are things that might get overlooked in your collection because Let's face it, some of us have, like, if we're, like, a blue or a purple lover, like, there's, like, shifty shadows in our collections that we don't even know that that's what color they are because, like, we've never used them and they're so shifty that, like, in the pan they don't even look like a pink. So, anyways, I feel like I want to shed light on some of the, like, beauty of, like, some of the pink shifts that are in the palettes that we already own. So, if you guys are interested in seeing this, like, what like what are my favorite pinks out of my entire collection which you guys know like I actually I find my I find that when I go to find a pink like single shadow or something when I'm creating my own like creative looks out of like mixing palettes and mixing my own color stories I find that it hasn't been until recently that I have had some really good pinks like up until recently I find my pink shimmer collection my pink duochrome collection kind of wanting so recently I've gotten a few few good pink shifty shadows that have really satiated my desire to like have some really good pink fucking duochromes, multi-chromes, shimmer, shifty shadows. But up until just recently, I felt like my pink, my pink duochrome collection or multi-chrome collection has been really lacking. So um, if you guys are interested in seeing what my favorite pinks in my entire collection are, then just hang out. <laughs> Blah, 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 uh, blah, 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 How many different ways can I say, do you guys want to see all my pink shit? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so if you guys want to see all my pink shit, then just hang out. All right, so I'm gonna start with lip products and the reason why is because I need to put some on right now. So my first product that I'm gonna swatch for you guys is gonna be on my lips and it's Big Bang by Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine. And honestly, the re only reason why I'm doing it is because I'd rather not swatch it because they don't make it anymore and it's almost gone. So this is like, a, you know, when it comes to pink, so this is like, a, it's kind of matches my color scheme that I've got going on here. It's like this magenta, uh, like purpley pink color. So when it comes to pink, there's like a range of pinks, right? There's like purpley pink, pink, and like orangey pink, kind of as it goes. You know, it's like cool tone pink, pink, warm tone pink. You know what I mean? Peaches, those kinds of things. This is my pixie ring by Notoriously Morbid and it's almost gone, but if you can, So it looks like it's like red right now, but when it dries and it, it's like this really nice like pink, like corally pink color. It's so cute. Honestly, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna buy another one of these. This is Pink Moon by Kaleidos and I fucking love this color. It's one of their Cloud Lab lip clays and this is like one of my favorite lippies of all time. All of these that I'm using right now are like my favorite, like most worn, I wear them all the time type of deal. This is Vertigo. It's like raspberry with a lavender glitter flip. And this also matches my look a lot today. This is Hi-Fi Shine by Urban Decay and I don't know what this color is. It's like this cool, like fluorescent, bright, like uh, milky fluorescent pink. This is like one of my favorite colors and the fact that it's discontinued really bums me out. 
I can't dupe it, honestly, but the Unearthly Cosmetics Lippy Lip Gloss in Juice is like kind of like similar on the lips. It's not, it doesn't swatch similar, but it's like kind of like a neon, but it's like clear. It's like transparent. And then while we're here, this is my Lime Crime Wet Cherry Pink. It's like kind of clear. These pink glosses are like everything to me. I wear the fuck out of them. I love them so. I love them so. Oh God, that smells so good. And then this is the Lime Crime Wet Cherry and it's glitter. Oh, that was in Sour Cherry. And then this is in Juicy Cherry and it's like a glittery. This one's really pretty. All of these are really pretty on. And then my last one is Avery by Unearthly. I don't have that many pink lipsticks because I don't really like the way pink lipstick looks often. This is Avery by Unearthly and it's like a pink with like a golden green shimmer sheen. So these are all my favorite pink lip products. Like I still have like some staples that I wear, but these are like my favorite ones that actually like, I get excited to put them on. When I see them, I feel like so beautiful. And I mean, I get that effect from other lippies, but these were just the ones that really fucking do it for me. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna do the blushes. So this is my, these are my two hourglass blush palettes. And I, I'm gonna show you, I love these colors. One of them is in Sublime Flush. They're like glowy blush formula. There you can kind of see it. And then this one is Surreal Effect. And it's this one right here. This one's really pink. And then I'm just gonna do this one more time and see if I can't get this. Pretty. And then I also have my Unearthly Glowy Blush in Mellow. And this is actually probably my most worn. God, I love this formula. My hand was still a little bit like damp. So the swatch was like fucking amazing. So I wear this color a lot. This is probably one of my most commonly worn colors actually of blush. In my blush book, I have Think Pink and rosed and that's the two colors i i wear think pink and rosed both quite frequently god those are so pretty look at how pigmented those are you next is my unearthly cosmetics low light highlighter in spellbinding it's got the most beautiful pink shift this is like i wear this almost every single makeup look i do oh my god look at that it's just got this shift but it's like goes from like a gold to a pink it's so beautiful and then i also have the fawn by ritual defee and it is like it's a cream highlighter Oh my God, you can totally see that. And then like. The shift is so beautiful. Both of them, they're, they're like, oh, look at my fingers. Ritual Defeat is a little bit more sparkly. One of my most favoriteest pink products of all time is my Pink Urban Decay Liner. It's in Woodstock and I don't think that they, I don't know, no, they do, they make it still. But it's like a metallic pink, almost raspberry, but not quite. It's just so pretty and it honestly makes every look like 10 times better to me. Any pink look looks better with Woodstock in the waterline. I'm just gonna start swatching eyeshadow colors. So this is my Lime Crime Venus 3 and this is the color Bliss. And honestly, of all the colors similar to this one, I decided that this one was the absolute favorite. So, so I kind of like took a couple others out because this is like, I love this color so stinking much. So pretty, just blushy and romantic and grungy and just cute, cute. This is the Enchanted Moon Multi Chrome Quad by MBA Cosmetics. 
and this is the color Strawberry Moon, and it's like this beautiful pink to golden to coral to green shift. I've actually been using it as a highlighter because it's that pretty and like... God, that's nice. So in the Cold Moon palette, there's three, actually. There's Forbidding, and this is just like so sparkly and pink and just like, it's super sparkly. It's so fucking pretty. And then Aurora. Now this is like a golden pink, like peach, and it's a flaky formula, but then it like shifts to green and the green shift is very powerful but so is the pink and gold shift. So it's like, I'm only gonna do that once because it's just really not necessary to do it anymore. Let me see if I can get you. Oh yeah, you can see the green in like the top side right here. So beautiful. And then Kion or Kion. This is like a pink, but it's got like a murky, not a murky, it's like a grayish, a gray blue, like undertone base with a pink shift, like a golden pink peach shift, but it's like really sparkly and there is something really magical about this color. It's very beautiful. And you can definitely see that blue undertone with the pink shift and the sparkliness. Like, so in the Alien Cosmetics Lore palette, the color Sphinx is like, it's like a peach to gold to green shift, but when you really turn it all the way, it's like turns into like a really nice, bright, like hot pink. And this is actually in the All I Ever Wanted palette as well. Quite frankly, I don't know if I'm like talking out my ass right now when I say this, but it seems like up until the Fall Magic palette came out, there hasn't really been that many great, great pinks to come from Unearthly Cosmetics, like, to speak of. I might be wrong, though. That's, like, one of them, though. Like, Sphinx is, like, the best one. Okay, this is the Hala palette, and I'm gonna go with the color double-sided, and the reason, it's, like, it's got, like, a gray undertone, like, it's got a gray base, but then it's got a strong, like, green. It's, like, fiery green to fiery pink shift. Yeah, you can totally see that. That's so cute. It's actually hard to tell if it's orange or if it's like pink. That's how like fiery, a fiery pink. Okay, so this is the Madame Violet palette and I am actually gonna go with the pink. This is like the most perfect bubblegum cotton candy pink. I love this color. It's kind of unique to my collection. And then the one right above it, I don't have the name, so this is like a pink with a pink shift. That's the only way I know how to explain it. It's like pink on pink. It's, it's definitely two different pinks though, so it's like... It's like double pink. Oh my god, look at all those colors. That's just fantastic. This is the Pretty Poison palette, and the color that I'm gonna go with is this right here. It's called Amanita Drunk, and it's like a blue, but then like when you turn it, it's like the most beautiful peachy, corally, like pink fluorescent pink red shift. It's actually a hard color to describe, but it's like one of my favorites in my collection. It's so good. And it feels so creamy. It's almost like an oil. Look at that. You can see it clear as a bell. The blue gray underneath with the purple and pink shift. And then I'm actually going to use a uh, NYX glitter primer for this next color just because I just want to see what happens. I honestly already swatched this color because I ran out of space on my memory card again. So anyway, I'm just going to go like this because I want to, I want to do this. I'm going into my Absinthe and Lace palette and I'm going to use Frosted Water and it's like pink with a blue dust in it and I just want to see because honestly the first time I swatched it like you could see it on my finger but like I just want to see what happens if I actually use like if you can actually oh yeah you can't see the blue but you can see other things that are like really cool 
there is an absolute blue shift in this that's like, I don't know, you can't really see it. You can only see like the greeny gold, but it's like, here, let me see if I can get it on my finger. You can't really see the blue, but oh well, I tried. This is the Juvia's Place Sweet Pinks palette. And earlier today, I said that I thought that the shimmers in this weren't that good. But honestly, this color right here, I don't know what it's called, but it is like actually very different than anything I have. It's like got this like really nice, it's like just this like pinky, like almost an orangey shift, like almost a corally color. And the formula is not like super shiny, but it's super creamy and it's really nice. And it's, this color is really unique to my collection. It looks like hot pink in the, in the monitor, but that's not what it looks like in, on, um, in here. It's like more, a little, just a little orangey tint. This is the Plumeria Dragon palette. And I don't know if you guys remember what happened when I put this color on my lids, but it was like, this color is so good. It like stands, it like glows. It's like holographic, it glows. That's how neon-y the shade is. Now you can kind of see the orangeness compared to how cool tone this one is. And then these ones are really special. So I know that we all know, this is the Cherry on Top palette by BH Cosmetics, one of the Sweet Shop palettes. And we all know that the Cherry was not a red palette, it was a pink palette. So for the mattes, I'm definitely gonna use if I do a red, if I do a red comparison or whatever. But this color Maraschino and this color Juicy, these two are definitely pinks and they're definitely unique. They're so special, like, God, look at that, look at that strawberry goodness. It's called maraschino, but it's actually really super strawberry. Ooh, that's really pretty. Dude, look at how bright and bomb that is. And this is juicy. Look at my arm is so pretty. And then this is the Tokyo Harajuku palette and I really love the two and I I don't ever use them and I didn't know how to use them at all. Like at first I had to actually learn how to use them but there's a middle row of like shiny mattes and this pink and this pink right here are super, they're like shimmery and like shiny and glowy and like really unique to my collection. And honestly, I kind of wonder if they wouldn't look really good as blushes. This is the Sorceress Smoke Palette, and this is the color Sorceress. And it is like, okay, so until these two palettes came out, I feel like there was just like a major gap in unearthly pinks. And these two palettes just really, this is like a pink, like a golden peach to green shift, like fairies wear boots and shit. So fucking cute, dude. Yeah, these palettes really fucking made, made up for that. Like, they're so... The pinks in these palettes are so pretty. And this is the Fall Magic palette. And there are several pinks in this that are so good. But I'm going to go with Autumn and Enchanting. These two colors right here. This is Autumn. Mm, and again, it's got a subtle green shift. With a rose colored... It's like rose and green. And then this is enchanting. And this is like a beautiful, I had several colors in my collection that kind of do this like pink to gold shift, but none of them even touch this one. This one is so beautiful, like. And the, the pigment of that pink is just so amazing. Like it's beautiful. And then also, I can't discount Cozy. This is like such a beautiful color. Like this color actually makes me want to use this palette all the time. See, the Lime Crime is a little bit dustier. This is the Lime Crime right here. And if you just go like that. And then this is just like a really soft, nice, rosy, dusty beauty. So pretty. Okay, in the Lure palette, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I am gonna do this color X marks the spot because I don't know if you guys remember how pretty I was like, I was like freaked out by how beautiful this made my pink look. 
it just made this pink look so beautiful. I know that looks a lot more purple, but on like in the pan and like on the skin, it looks like it's a really, it's a really like pink base, like Merlot color. This is the Strawberry Moon palette by Ensley Rain. And there were several pinks, the Strawberry Moon, the Summer Love, and then the color Radiant, like, oh my God, seriously, stop it. And this is Summer Love. So beautiful. This is such a pretty, like, peachy, fluorescent. It's like actually neon when I turn it sideways. It like looks like neon. Like it looks like it's glowing from the side view. And then this color Radiant is <laughs> actually every fucking thing. Crazy. It's like peach, glowy, fire. It's like that halo color, only more pink. Here, I'm gonna try to get this up, like around so that I can really show you guys the shift. I just wanna get it even. If I can show, there, you guys can see it right there. It's so, oh God, you just can't even understand this color until you see it in person. Like, <sighs> love that color. The Forced Heart palette, I fucking has two pinks in it that are just to die for. The color Mushroom and the color Enchanting. And actually, honestly, the color Twilight was really good too, but if we're gonna talk about just my favorites, this is the Shimmer Enchanting. And this is actually the best shimmer of this color that I have, I think. Cause I have a couple that are this color, but this is like so beautiful. And then this is Mushroom. Oh God, these shadows are just so buttery. This color right here is so beautiful on the eyes and like blent out, like dimensional. It's so good. That beautiful like rose colored raspberry deep, like rich pink, so pretty. I love that color. This is the Planet Spirit palette. It's the collab between Butte Bean and Odin's Eye. And there's actually two really great pinks. I would honestly say that the color Sanctuary is also a really great pink. Like these are all really unique colors. So I'm going to put this in here, even though it's borderline red. God, that was like, I barely touched it. Wow. That's really pigmented. Holy shit. Good Lord. That's crazy. I can't believe how easy that swiped on. I'm tripping. I don't remember it being that fucking good. And then this is Rescue. Such an amazing fluorescent, like neon peachy pink. Wow. The pigment of these is, I'm actually, this is incredible. <laughs> what? I didn't realize they were that good. And then this is the color Fauna. And this also is like, an amazing shifty pink. Oh my God, the pink. It's like, it's like a pink to green shift, but it's more golden green and it's more pink than the Hala color. I'm just going in and reinforcing that. Let's see if I can get you a, there's a good view of it. These are all so pretty. Mm, good Lord. Okay. And then this is the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. And I am going for the shade Stained Glass. This, this shimmer pink right here. It's so pretty. And frankly, it's kind of there. It's kind of an older school formula where it's like a pink to purple and it's really dusty, but it's still really pretty. And honestly, I think one of the things that makes this palette so special is this color. It's like literally just a straight up pink to purple shift. Oh my gosh, that color radiant. You can't even see it. God, it just disappears. And it's like the most beautiful color on my entire arm. Actually, all of those colors were really super pretty. That's a lie. This is the Rose from the Dead palette and I like Whistle and Summon and Beloved. So. This color right here is Whistle and Summon, and it's like one of my favorite pinks. It's the same color that I basically dye my hair. I love this color so stinking much. It's kind of the same feel. It feels a little bit more peach than the, the Lime Crime or the Fall Magic palette. It feels a little more peachy colored, but it's maybe it's just because it's next to a peach. And then this is Beloved. And this is one of those like twisted 
swirly marbled shimmers and this is so freaking beautiful it's just too much it's like a pink to purple shift and it also has that like dusty undertone to it so that's like kind of what makes it a little bit different and special is it's got like a dusty rose shift and a purpley shift this is the feral palette the peril palette and it has a lot of good pinks in it so this is Wisteria, and this is like a red to me, like a fluorescent neon red, but it's like a like fluorescent coral. One swipe, boom. And then this next one is Pack Leader. God, the shimmers in this are so good. And it's like an orangey pink to fire to like golden peachy coral. God, so pretty. Man, that looks pretty. That even actually has a little bit of a like purpley shift in the monitor doesn't it and then this is wolfling and this is like what that shimmer that i said like recently i wonder if that's even still good it's still good it's super shifty it's like a dusty mauve to a greeny shift but it's got a nice like uplifted like brighter pink undertone you can see it right there but like you can see how it shifts to green when I turn. I love pink. The Moonfall palette, obviously Soulstone. I'm wearing that right now, actually. This is like one of the prettiest colors. Like this is the color, this is the kind of color that keeps you keeping a palette that you don't really like. <laughs> Just for this color. It's not shifty, but it's really sparkly and it's really like pigmented and it lays on really foiled and thick and creamy. It's just a really nice color. And then this is the Stack em Up palette and there's two mattes in this palette that I just love and it's Shmoney Tones and Rich Energy. Oh my gosh, look at how pigmented that is. Rich Energy. As you guys can see, there's kind of a theme. I really love that like dusty, blushy, romantic pink. Oh, this one, this next one's exciting. God, look at all these cool fucking pinks, man. Okay, so this is the Mothman palette and this matte right here is like, it's like a cross between a brick red and a pink, but I'm just gonna take it because it looks really pink when I put it next to that uh, mustard seed yellow. It's more like a sienna or an orange, but it really looks pink on, on my skin uh, that I remember. So, but that's not why I did it. That is one of my favorite colors, my favorite pinks, but then there's this color right here and it's 57 Chevy. And I just was telling you guys in a video that this is the color that it looks how I feel like like cherry smells or tastes. I don't remember what I said, but it's like a blue base with a bright pink shift. It actually like looks how it how how cherry smells or tastes. There, you can see the pink shift. Okay, in my Surge palette, I'm just gonna go for one, but like my favorite pink look, God, every time I do anything with this palette, this purple just breaks out more and more. It makes me so mad. So I'm gonna use Charged. This is like one of the best neon pinks I've ever used, seen, slash, been involved with. God, look at how fucking good that swatch. Like, I'm sorry, but for a neon shade, that was really, really bright and nice. And it actually glows when you turn it sideways. That's crazy. I don't want that purple to go away. I'd kind of almost like to get it fucking back up just for that one purple color. Okay, this is the Sugar and Grunge palette. And I really just like this sequence right here. So I'm just gonna go. It's so beautiful and blushy. Like, here's the lightest, the midzy and the deepening. And this like sequence right here is so fucking beautiful. Those three colors together are just everything. They're fucking beautiful perfection. Oh, you know what? I forgot one. I'm glad I remembered because this is a special one. I forgot in the Blend Bunny Lure palette about Pearl because this is a pink, but it's got like a mint green shift. I'm really glad I didn't forget that. You can see it, it's pink to mint green. It's actually like 
ice cream, like mint mint ice cream or something. Okay, and then the Machina palette, which I'm, I have I'm wearing on my eyes right now, and I literally the whole sequence, but this color Oxytocin and this color Enamored, Oxytocin and Enamored, This color enamored is no joke. That's crazy. The Lands of Enchantment has several really good pinks and I'm just gonna go into, Faye is the first one. Pfft, forget it. It's like literally not even of this world. It's just a golden to a pink, like iridescent, no base. It's like airy and light and magical. There you go. It's got like a bluish gray hint underneath. This is Earthlight right here. This is the hollow shadow. It's honestly one of the best shadows in my collection. It's looking really purple right now, but it's pink in the pan, obviously. And it's also pink on my lids. I'm wearing it. It's the top color of my on my lids and it's just so beautiful. And then the color Cosmic Flow. Another unbelievable sparkly raspberry with a black base. I really like these dusty raspberry tones and I didn't put enough of them in my collection I actually took them all out and then in watch the queen conquer I really like love this color positions <laughs> on the eyes this is so pretty and quite frankly since I've got it out the color checkmate also is like this peachy pink another bright fun candy colored pink the Carnival XL3, and honestly, there's a fucking dozen pinks in this that I love, but I'm just gonna go with the color Pink Lily. It's the one I've used the most, and then also JJ. This color on the eyes looks so sexy and sultry. It's just so like raspberry and like dusty. It's fucking beautiful. And then the color Lily. This like is a fucking look changer. Like this color changes. It's like transformative. Like if you put this over the top of a purple deepening shade or whatever, it's like super bright and it just changes the whole look. It's really cool toned, which makes it a little bit different than some of the other brighter pinks that I have. It's really blue based. And then the last color I'm gonna go for is in the Morphe palette. And honestly, I was going through and I was swatching. These fucking shimmers are so creamy and they're still so good but this color right here which is called very nine very very good this color is like honestly there's been times where I wanted to declutter this palette and I kept it just because of that color it's so fucking nice like this it's just this night like dusty dirty raspberry color it's like bright it like stands out in the palette I feel like it's like right there and it's just so beautiful it's like I don't know. I feel like that color really makes, like, stands out and makes this palette look so beautiful. So that's all my sweet pinks, dude. I have shimmer everywhere. I am covered in fucking shimmer. My my shirt is covered in shimmer. My arm is the prettiest it's ever been. All those colors are like, those are my favorite colors. They're just like the best. I love pink so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys like saw like because I know for myself a lot of times like I'll have a palette and I'll have a color in a palette that I don't use and so I really don't have any idea what I'm holding. <laughs> I really don't have any idea like some of the colors because they're so shifty and so different and so if you're a person who just likes pink but it's not really your go-to so you've probably like overlooked a lot of the pinks that I showed you in these palettes so a lot of you guys have these palettes I'm sure of it so anyways don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boy's charm and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it if you got like halfway through this video and you're like oh my god She's so pretty until she opens her big fucking mouth. Then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram. And if you were like, don't share a code to Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Then go check out my Patreon because I don't hold anything back on my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me. And I totally appreciate you. Later. 
Slayer.